Hey guys, this is me, and we are going to be unboxing a weather radio. You probably should know what it, I'll tell you what it is as soon as I open this box. But yeah, let's do this. But not only is it paper, but it's the Eton Zone Guard Plus Weather Alert Clock Radio System with two wireless alert modules. So, I have an Eton Zone Guard Plus now, and we're going to have to see if it works completely. It comes with the base station, which is this thing, and two wireless alert modules. Let's open this up, shall we? So inside is the Zone Guard Plus manual, the quick start guide, the stand, the AC cable that it comes with. It looks like this. The quick start guide in two other uh, languages. The wireless alert modules. And the zone guard plus itself. So, so you got your band uh, buttons here, this thing right here power button, all this other stuff, preset buttons, volume, your antenna, this one's pretty big, it's pretty long, but yeah, in the next clip we are going to go plug it in and set it up. Now let's plug it in and see what this thing gives us. So we got the AC. And we got the plug. I believe this takes the same plug as the zone guard. I believe. The stand likes to fall off a lot more in this one than in the other zone guard. But yeah. Let me get over the quick start guide. Sorry about this congested space right here. But it is going to have to do. So we're going to plug it in. We already did that. All right. So we are going to power this on in three, two, one. And it turned on. Does it work? To 30 miles an hour. It's really good reception. I really like it. Anyway. We are going to set the clock, and we are going to do this by pressing the menu and doing setup time. The current time is 5.04 p.m. Setup time, setup alarm, we do not need to do that. Div uh, alert siren, I'm going to change that to... I'm going to change that to voice. County, we are going to leave it at all. Defeat siren, we're going to keep it at normal for now. And that's pretty much it for the setup portion. Find the same code. We do not need to find the same code because we usually do any. Well, I usually do any. Select your county, do that thing. Um, each module takes three AA batteries.
we are going to test this all um, in the next clip. But yeah, let's see. Let's see how each of these modules work. But yeah, all right, let's open that and we're gonna do that in the next clip. Apparently, each of these um, wireless alert modules take three triple A's. And they say in this one, it, it says install three double A batteries in each module. That does not look like a double A for each module. I even got double A batteries with me because I read the manual, but you need three triple A batteries to power um, each of these wireless alert modules. But yeah, that's gonna be it. I'm gonna be putting in these batteries next. I had double A batteries with me the entire time, but yes, that is it. All right, so we're gonna insert each battery. It says double A's in the manual for some reason, but you need three triple A's, not double A's. Yes, looks like the thing is powered on. As you can see from that light, looks like it's working. I have been having a hard time opening these things right here, but let's see if, let's see if the other module will get power. Yep, this one does too. And we are gonna close this right here. They've got handles on like both sides right here. I can see why it would be pretty hard to open. I'm not too sure how to close those either. All right, so in the manual, how to test them, it says that, it says that the, the power indicator, the test button is gonna be on the right side of this base unit right here, but it's actually below the AM and FM button. So that will be it for you right there. No, oh, I got one closed already. I got the other one closed. That's actually really simple. Um, these alert modules are gonna fall if I do something like that. But yeah, a little bit later we are gonna be uh, the different. Uh, the difference between the Zone Guard Plus and the normal Zone Guard. One of the differences is that you are able to test its very unique and annoying siren. And at the same time, you could also test these two zone garden modules at the same time. I am going to be getting into that in the next clip. All right, so I guess it is recording, okay. So anyway, we are gonna first test out the wireless alert modules. But yeah. But yeah, I think we're gonna use this button. It's gonna be loud, people. Let me, let me test that real quick. I think. Areas of wind. Not too bad, but we are going to, the stand fell. The stand keeps falling off this thing, why? Anyway, I'm gonna be testing the Eton Zone Guard modules. And I believe this is how you do it. But yeah, that was the test portion. But yeah, 
both of them went off. But yeah. But then you can also test the siren. I believe you could press this on, then this. But yeah, that's the siren for you right there. It's it's actually not that loud. Let me do that again. But yeah, that is like the alert siren that would go off in a type of warning siren. It has the same exact sirens as the zone guard for watch, warning, and advisory. But in but then it also plays like another siren, which is that siren. Like it does that after that siren. But yeah. But yeah, that is the Eton zone guard for you right there. But yeah. That that's the Eton Zone Guard Plus. I hope you enjoyed. That's the unboxing and well, review, sort of. But yeah, go over the menu functions one last time. Set up time. That allows you to set up your clock. This allows you to set your uh, clock alarm where the alarm goes off at a certain time. Uh, this allows you how the weather radio should alert you to go off. Um. This is like your same code, county. I just have it in all, just so that it reaches all the counties near me. And then, defeat siren. Um, uh, defeat siren is the one thing you, you um, shoot. Defeat siren allows you to choose which weather alerts or other alerts this weather radio will go off for. But yeah, that is pretty much it. You can turn off the alert function by pressing this and pressing off and pressing right. Now it won't go off for alerts, but if you wanted to go off for alerts, all you gotta do is to hold down alert on and off, then turn it on using the up arrow and then right. This weather radio also has AM and FM. Let's check out the reception for the AM and FM. Then there's weather.alert.wb, which allows you to do that, which allows you to do the alert, which will go off for that. 92. But yeah, that's the Zone Guard Plus for you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is the new weather radio I got. And yeah, I am going to be plugging this in somewhere else. But yeah, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed. That's it.